this should help you remember everything. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Everything you know is wrong. Your life will be consumed by absolute loss. He doesn't need his own weapons. He's got ours. They'll always need men like us. Our greatest barrier is our own fear. Our own doubts. The only thing holding us back is how far we are willing to go. What is going on guys, ZK Nova here and today, I got a really exciting video for you guys today and I hope you all enjoyed the trailer that was played just before this, that was a great, great trailer, one of the greatest trailers I've seen in years, though it was just a bunch of numbers, it actually meant something to me because it's Call of Duty as we all know, so um, what this new trailer brings to us is many things, though it may not seem like many things, this trailer, this trailer really brings out the inner game, as if you guys want to say that. Um, see, now we really understand about like we understand how the game will work. Um, not a full understanding, but many it brings many theories to life. So today I'm going to be talking about some of my theories. So um, one of my theories is time travel, and this is because of multiple things. Um, Vondahar actually tweeted out something that had uh, it was Vondahar's and it had his um you know it was it was his Twitter account and what he did was he posted a picture that said um it was a World War Two weapon. It didn't say it said World War it was a World War Two weapon and he put hashtag COD twenty fifteen and that got everybody hyped. Everybody for, for people thinking that it was um a you know like kind of you know re like brand new call or like kind of a world at war 2 type thing but uh yeah it wasn't and it never ended up being one but uh yeah so what this kind of means for us is that there has to be some kind of time travel implemented or like something like that um we'll go more in depth in it um later on tonight with x um because um he's really big on following it and he really knows kind of what's going on in the franchise right now x does um so yeah um about that um that's um one of the theories is time travel my other theory is um a connection some kind of a connection between them like stories something like that and or like someone's trying to find something in this storyline that hasn't been tried attempted to be found before like kind of it's hard to explain like they're they're trying to find something like a person they're trying to kill him and there's a connection between all two all three characters from the series are unnamed character as of now section and mason um so there's definitely going to be a connection between the three um i don't know what it is but uh yeah that's another one of my speculations so yeah those are um my speculations for the game uh what i think it is going to be based upon in zombies is I'm honestly at a loss right now because Zombies has been a load of, like, just nonsense after Moon. Like, honestly, it just has been. Like, I don't even remember. Like, Moon is just... Moon was the last, like, real in-depth storyline. I think what they're going to do, this is my personal opinion, is that they're going to leave off where Moon left off. And where Moon left off is actually... Um, where I believe where the new storyline is going to come in. And the new storyline is going to have a lot to do with on Moon rather than on Earth. I think what Black Ops 2, 1, and 2, the connection was trying to explain to us is that, that you know, um, we are um, trying to, uh, um, like, they were trying to make a connection between us, or the Moon, and the people on Earth. And 
I believe that's what they were trying to do with Black Ops 1 and 2. But, uh, yeah, what that means is just that um, they were trying to make a connection between the Earth and the Moon. And I think now that they've made, fully made their point with the connection on Earth, I think they're going to move on to their connection on Moon and leave off where the original four characters left off. Where, um, someone's in, where Edward's in control of the zombies and... Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai are just dumbfounded and don't know what to do. And they have Samantha a part of their group now. So this is also new stuff that I'm speculating about the Call of Duty franchise and Call of Duty 2015 or Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So yeah, um, this is something all new to the Call of Duty series. We weren't really exactly too sure what to expect. Like, Unlike with Ghosts 2, what we're going to be seeing is... Um, Logan getting kidnapped is what we're really going to be focusing on in Ghost 2, but we haven't got to that we yet. We're still on Black Ops 3, so, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much why I, what I wanted to tell you guys is that we don't, we, it's kind of unpredictable, and these are just some opinions on it, so, um, yeah, these are just some of my opinions personally on this, um, Call of Duty, so, I'm not too sure what this will be about, so um, if you guys really did enjoy this video and also enjoyed the all new trailer, go ahead and drop a comment or subscribe down below. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. It's going to take you guys 12 likes to get to the next video, which is me and X reviewing all of the rumors and leaks. So until then, I will see you all next time.